We are on stage five of our project and you can see I've put masking tape on and that is just to protect that horizon line that I'm going to do. And we're going to work on the ocean. We are going to be focusing on removing some of these white speckles. But ultimately, we're just repeating and that brings more life to your ocean. All of these are optional stages. You could choose to just do your ocean once and make sure that you, you know, perfect it. I find that if you go with acrylics, at least two layers, it brings it more alive. You're more depth in your piece. And also some of those other tones are still going to come through. So we're not going to eradicate all of the work. We're just going to add value to it. I'll be using phthalo blue, turquoise, white. And then once that part has done, we're going to just focus a little bit on where it's meeting the shoreline. And there's going to be a little bit of sand and that brush back into this, but that'll be on the next stage. So we're literally going to work on the central body of the ocean. When it's dried, I'm going to then add a tiny little bit of this um, paint grey just to the bottom of these rocks, mountains, what hills, whatever you want to call them into the ocean just so it looks like it's standing slightly further forward uh, from the horizon line should be short and sweet and yeah let's get on with this while i remember thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome and i hope if you're painting along with me you're going to write comments on if you found this tutorial beneficial I will try and get my camera closer so you can see what I'm doing, uh, but I'm doing the best I can with the limited equipment I've got in my new um, apartment. Well, not my new apartment, but in the apartment I'm staying in, all my stuff's still in the UK. I'm Sharon, I digressed. I'm gonna use neat phalo blue just at the top here just where it's meeting that horizon. I'm going to try and keep it quite thin. But I just want right on that horizon for it to be quite, quite dark. And then we'll phrase it through to a little bit of diluted phthalo with a little bit of white in there. And then we'll blend some in where we get those either overcast shadows or different depths of water or maybe rocks that are under there or a reef. I just want to make sure there's going to be no little bits of white canvas showing through that part. And make sure any gaps that was where the ocean meets the sky that is clear. Now around this area here, it is quite a light blue. So I'm going to go phalo mixed in with white now. And if you've gone too, too light, like I know I have done there, I'm going to bring some of that in. And if you don't want to go over quite thick, if you dilute your paint with a little bit of water, you'll see the transparency coming through. I really am saturating my canvas now, making sure that I'm shoving my paint into the canvas. And try not to stress if you do go over bits that you like, because you will be able to bring it back when you do your dance with your canvas. Okay, bring back my line here that I've just removed. Paying attention to just under where the masking tape is now to try and make sure I get a tiny little bit of that very thin line but of the dark blue. Near that area. And then where I've got little bits of the dark blue in sections of the ocean. I'll come and add a little bit more of that there as well. All right, a little bit of the phthalo 
and blue again for I suppose blending it through a little bit. Letting your brush slowly grab the colours and layering it and blend it through it helps with that ocean looking alive, but it also helps with it looking like the clouds are reflecting a little bit on it. And if I remember from the first time I did this, this part took me probably the longest. And then um, it's uh, got a little bit quicker as we got to the turquoise and then building in that little bit of a dance that's going a bit too low light there for me now with the uh, dark gradients bits of the ocean coming so i'm just gonna put some of the dark bits back now because we will be going over it with the uh, turquoise but we want it to dry before we start going over it just so when we go over it, it'll still pop through that turquoise. And do it quite rough to force that paint onto that canvas. And uh, But also, when we come over it, it's going to look much more organic, in my opinion. It's just something that I, I prefer to do, and it seems to work for me. Uh, each to their own and again we're trying not to create waves so we can go back over it with our brush to flatten it where where necessary and if you make mistakes like that I've just done there you're just going to add a little bit of water to your brush to blend it out I'm standing quite close to my canvas at the minute because I just want to make sure that I I've got those white bits that were really bugging me. Building back some of those um, deeper areas now. I can just so, uh, see, Sorry. I can see a little bit where they were coming through. Uh, so I'm just using that as a little guide. I have to wet my brush soon just to help that paint flow. I'm hard to talk out loud about what I'm doing at the minute because I'm just focusing, circling my brush, what's it in there. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush now, a tiny little bit. Just to try and blend some of this through. And also force the paint in some holes. I've been quite purposeful this time with it. I'm going to face through some turquoise now. Bring some more green back there. And then we might blend some turquoise with the phthalo blue and the white. But at the minute, I'm just going to go straight with turquoise and a little bit of. And I'm not, I'm going to actually add. <laughs> so I'm mixing a tiny little bit of phthalo blue, some turquoise, and some white. So I'm going to get to start to bring some nice greeny bluey tones through. Try not to make a even block of colour. 
making sure with my brush I'm sort of scuffing the colour in, trying to give some gaps in between uh, for my ocean being alive. And then I'll keep repeating the same words. Soz. If it goes too green, you add a little bit more phthalo blue and a little bit of white. You could use a bigger brush to make this easy for yourself, but I find this way it helps me with the uh, control of the motion. Motion in the ocean. Wet my brush a little bit. And in that through. I think it's safe to take this off now, see what we're working with. is work my way lighter and come back and then I can start to work how I'm going to highlight this and keep some of those dark things. Now because the waves are coming in this way, this way and this way my brush strokes are going to count so I'm going to try and layer dark and light slightly angled this way then at the forward more or less straight and then slightly angled this way and keep it quite rough like it was before because that'll help the brain feel the illusion that the water's moving and you're getting lights and dark shades and everything like that and we'll try and lighten the middle section up here where it's probably getting most sunlight and then there's more like I say like a lot <laughs> like and dark ripples and focus on that so it's going to almost be like a, a round motion I'm going to try and create with the illusion of the waves again but I am liking that this is all blocking in nicely but I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up again um, just to help me understand blending, I'm just doing this edge here first. <laughs> I say one thing, don't I, and then I do another. I noticed my edge needed a little bit of uh, TLC, so I decided to just do that. And then I got carried away with blending, just like that. Just like that. Like that. Okay, go in with some turquoise and a lot of white. And um, I'm going to try and stay away from this area, but I'm going to scuff it on. And then I will add some dark at the minute. I'm trying to fill all the gaps in before I'm worrying about my composition. I'm just going to make sure that there is no canvas showing through to start with. Uh, and just think about where your brush is going. As far as your brush strokes do matter, like I mentioned before. So even though we're not really focusing on the detail at the minute, I am going to try and curve. Oh, quite dark there. I'll blend in with the other stuff I've done and that will be okay. I'll add some white as well and blend it in on the canvas. Keeping my brush strokes fairly loose. Try not to block in one particular colour and have a little bit of change between dark and light. <coughs> almost scuffing my brush here. It's almost a dry brush with very little on. And just letting the canvas catch bits of it and drag it off. And that'll help add to a little bit of that sun glistening onto the, onto the ocean. Getting my eyes right onto the canvas, just so I can see. 
That's because they have bad eyesight. <laughs> Sometimes I don't mind canvas coming through, though, if I'm being really honest, because it adds to it looking like there's a little bit of uh, sparkle in the ocean, but I don't know if I'm just saying that to try and make myself feel better. Because sometimes if you get a beautiful composition and you think, I really don't want to have to go over it because I like the way it is. Who says that you're not supposed to have canvas there? Your painting, your rules. It does bug me. Notice my colour's slightly different each time. Don't let that worry you. Again, that will all add to the movement or the life that you're putting in your ocean. Maybe this middle part's slightly lighter. Like I say, I think that's where the sun is catching the ocean the most. And at the foreshore, the sand is churning a lot more. I'm a little bit too light, so bring a little bit more green back in there. Before I put any real detail in there, I'm going to check very closely that I have covered my canvas adequately. Because I think it's done, and then I go back around, I'm like, oh, I can see more there. Now I will have to wet my big brush soon and just flatten this out. Turn a little bit of water on my brush because it's getting a little bit dry. coverage point of view we're just about done I'm just going to clean my brush off just so I don't ruin it I'm going to get my big brush and just wet it and just brush it over to try and flatten away so I'm just dabbing it in a little bit taking on it off any real excess like we did last time. detail on that but I'm gonna let that dry and while I remember I'm just gonna bring a Payne's Grey and just bring these mountains just slightly forward into that line there we'll have a tiny little bit of white around there where the oceans on there and there's this tiny little break out there where there must be some rocks and it's hitting it and then we're gonna build a few more dark areas again and then lighten up and make that ripple uh, again there. Check your edges as well. And it is a tiny brush. It's a 2.0. Oh, look at it, tiny. Still got a little bit of Payne's Grey left. have to be dead straight because we just want it to look like the ocean's lapping up on it. So 
actually looking like it's got a bit of sand on the other one, but I'm going to put a little bit of white around there. And there's going to be a tiny little wave breaking just at the back. And again, it doesn't have to be like that just because it is there. It's uh, Less is more. I'll show you what I've done just there so you can see what I've done and then we'll carry on with the front. So I've just added a tiny little bit of movement in the ocean, a little bit further away as though maybe there's a few rocks out there. Maybe that's where there's a tiny little reef. Brings nice perspective. So I'm just going to Darken a few little bits here again, and then just work on that front part. And then this section's now done, and there is no white bits. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so I'm now going to radiate, I'll graduate between the light and dark bits. So I feel it's going to be, maybe that's a bit too dark. Just at the back of where that wave is crashing there, it's going to be slightly dark. And I can always light it up if it's both committed. Hello in the battle. 